What up guys? Uh, today I got some of this metal fence. Um, this place is kind of interesting. Uh, originally, over a year ago, I thought it was going to be a home. They got a really nice uh, clubhouse up there with like, um, looks like a pool going to be built. With uh, the street layup for like housing. But now, I'm here over a year later. I don't know if they changed what they were going to do here, but... Or if this was the master plan all along. But they got these uh, tiny houses here. Which just doesn't really seem right for what uh, what the whole street layout was. It's kind of interesting. So I got this fence. What this noise is dragging here? I'm gonna lift up real quick. Oh, that's nice. The pallets fall apart of me. So I'm gonna get this as low as possible, as quick as possible. So, anyways, I just gotta drop a couple of these. Uh, another driver's already delivered a couple. This is one of the situations I wish I had the forklift extensions. I, I would definitely use it here. It looks like he may have picked his up from the... Uh, from the back end. I picked mine up from the side. But these pallets are so broken, that's why I chose to pick this way. Oh, I just want to hurry up and get it down and off my forklift. The other pallet doesn't look so bad. The one that's on the truck already. It's still... riddance to the bad pallet there. Right. It's nothing worse than getting a big uh, object and not having a good pallet for it to be on. These are even kind of, I guess not really. I was going to say they're kind of big lots for these homes, but I guess not. It's just with the widest streets as they got here, you think this would have been a regular neighborhood. But for the area, this kind of makes sense. Um, there is a couple... Uh, more mobile home parks out here with little tiny golf courses. And when I say tiny golf courses, I mean tiny. They're like pitching wedge golf courses. Maybe nine iron, I don't know. I think you need like one club and a putter. All right, now this pallet's not pulling even for me. on here. And it might be as good as it's going to get, which I'm not too happy with. So you can't really see what I'm looking at, but the left side is about 
a half foot closer to me than the right side is, tucked into the forklift. And once I turn here, I'll see if, uh, no, the pallet didn't break. So I'm just going super slow because it's just not very stable. Boy, I think he bordered this from uh from us, or not us, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of units here. This is going to be uh, the first, what, three, four, four, seven out of hundreds of them, it looks like. In most properties like this, they, uh, I think they only got fences to their backyards. I don't think they have side fences. But who knows? But they got a kind of cool view. You can see uh, they got little patios on the back there. And then that's a golf course with some ponds and stuff back there. So this will just be another uh, destination for the, uh, the snowbirds that come in from Canada and up north and sometimes from different parts of the world that come in here for the winter. Because today it's, I think uh, it said 72 and it's February 20 something. So 72 degrees in the winter. They're here playing their uh, golf and all that pickleball, that pickleball stuff's gone crazy. Every time you drive by one of these places, there's 10,000 people playing pickleball. But uh, anyways, that's that. You can see how bad that pallet was, that first one I dropped on the bottom. Just completely collapsed. So they didn't give me the best, but I got it done anyway, so. All right, guys, I'll call it there. I'll check you on the next one. Give me a like, give me a comment, and I hope you all are having a good day.